Hey guys, welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new UbiTech Iron Man robot. That is right, UbiTech has brought a brand new robot. This here is a talking, walking, augmented reality robot that has a lot of playback value. Now, if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. Now you're probably wondering, why do I look like Iron Man? Well, the truth is, I am Iron Man. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, this here is actually the closest thing you can get, as it actually does as resemble a fully functional Iron Man robot and has a capability to even put your own face on the LED screen. Now, in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, trying it out, and putting it to the test. So without further ado, let's go ahead and lift off and try it off. So this is the box that they sent us and it has a very nice display. It's got a peekaboo display showcasing the robot in all of its glory. Uh, so this here is the Mark 50 from the Iron Man, AKA the Avengers Endgame movie. So pretty cool. And as we kind of rotate it to the side here, it does showcase it in terms of a side profile. So it has a wake up sensor on the top of its head. So literally you just go ahead and pat it just like this and it'll go ahead and wake up and respond to based on whatever gestures you give it. Now it also has a variety of different sensors including an accelerometer, a gyroscope, infrared sensors, a microphone on the front and the back so it does give you a nice idea of perspective in place and time. Now as LEDs including in terms of the arc reactor, the repulsors on the hands, the foot, etc. and even the faceplate of the head actually opens up showcasing an LED screen with Tony Stark's face himself. So that is pretty wicked stuff. Now the real kicker is that you can actually even go ahead and put your own face on Iron Man, which is pretty unique. Now it comes with a variety of different experiences as showcased on the back here, including an augmented reality version. So you go and place a robot on a platform and from there you go ahead and set it up with an iPad and stuff of that nature. You can actually see a 3D environment form around the robot. Now this is really, really unique. So the robot will physically move and do its stuff. However, in the game or the video game, I guess you can say, it actually creates this almost like bad guys coming at it and you're like firing at it so it's kind of cool stuff which we'll be kind of looking at in just a little bit now it has different protocols or modes I guess you could say including an iron guard protocol which essentially is a security guard system meaning if somebody goes in front of the robot while it's in like standby mode it'll go ahead and trigger a different animation based on whatever you want it to be now on top of that it also has an rc mode allowing you to control it like a robot you can go and have it move about you can have it turn its head arms even like go ahead and place your own image on the led screen and make yourself look like iron man as well so pretty fun stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside so this is the box, uh, you know, as we've already seen, got the nice peekaboo display on the front, uh, looking pretty cool. It's not, it kind of like slides out just like this, so. <laughs> nice. All right, so you see our Iron Man robot sitting right over there. Uh, you got this mat, uh, so this mat will be essentially uh, what our robot stands on for the augmented reality. So we'll go ahead and detect this. Almost looks like a mouse pad, kind of interesting second purpose. Eh, who knows? Anyway, so that is that. So you get that there. And then this here is our robot. Ha! Look at that! Uh, so, you know, it actually has a good amount of weight to it. Uh, I can tell it does have a variety of different servos, including like the head, uh, the arm, the leg. So it does have a lot of different things going on with it. Uh, kind of curious to see how this all plays out. Uh, and then on the bottom here, we have ourselves a little box, uh, which probably just, yep has 
our user manual and a standard USB-C cable to charge our robot. So that is essentially that. As you kind of look around the robot, you'll see that it has LEDs here on the uh, faceplate, which actually lifts up just like that. Uh, and there's a display right over there uh, showcasing Tony Stark's face. Uh, you have arms that do move up and down and I guess they lock in place too. Uh, and they got like almost like hinges to kind of like flap about, I guess you could say. Uh, you got an on off switch here on the back. So you just go ahead and push that up. And then behind these little pads, you'll see that this is where you charge the robot. So you just go ahead and plug it in just like that. And then over here, you have a reset button in case if your robot decides to act out. So that is pretty nicely uh, hidden, which is pretty cool. And then you have the legs, uh, which have infrared sensors on the bottom and you got LEDs here and it says say Marvel. So it is a fully licensed product. Keep that in mind. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and turn them on next and see what this is all about. Oh! Right, import all preferences and run armor diagnostic. Activating Pinocchio protocol. Beginning full spectrum movement assessment. Ooh. Stand by. Boss, the Mark 50 is ready to connect or activate a protocol. All right, let's go ahead and connect to this thing next and try it out. All right. So we are all set and we're ready to try out our new Iron Man and then uh, this here is the app. So we have two different sections. We have nanotech as well as protocols. Now the difference between the two is essentially one, nanotech is the augmented reality version of the game where you can go ahead and place Iron Man into this fighting combat that you control and defeat these enemy bad guys and enhance your level of Iron Man abilities. Anyways, Protocols is essentially three different versions. Uh, we have Mobile Command, we have Iron Guard, as well as Custom Protocol. Now the difference between the three is simple. The Mobile is an RC controlled robot, meaning you can go and control the robot, control all the functions, all the animations, and play them. So it gives you the full capability of the robot, nonetheless. And then there's the Iron Guard Protocol, allowing you to go ahead and use them as an Iron Guard or a Guard Robot, allowing you to go ahead and place them anywhere you want, and if it detects any kind of motion, sounds, it'll go ahead and play an animation based off of that. Lastly, your custom protocol allowing you to go ahead and create your own custom animations and going ahead and creating these protocols that you just go ahead and play and go ahead and display that trait as necessary. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this and try out the mobile command protocol. Uh, again, this here is more or less the RC version of the robot. So we got these uh, controls here on the left, I have a joystick so I can go ahead and move him forward and see that he'll start walking forward. And if I hit back, he'll start walking back. Uh, we can go ahead and have them rotate by simply pressing this right arrow just like this. Okay, uh, and then you can go ahead and move his head. So this is to move his head to right. And then we can move it left. Okay, we can go ahead and move his arm up. The other arm up. Uh, we can move his uh, uh, waist side to the side. And then we can go ahead and fire with the right uh, pulse right there. And then the left. Okay. Uh, and then we have these different animations that we can go ahead and use. So this here it will be like uh, lift off. Friday, give me maximum thrust. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you'll see like the LEDs actually do light up uh, on the bottom of his feet, and the arms, kind of mimicking the real Iron Man robot. Uh, this here's glitch. Uh, Friday, did someone forget to pay the electric bill? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, and then we have uh, diagnostic. Friday, what is system diagnostic? Check complete. Armor systems at 100 percent, boss. So you can see there's a lot of different kind of uh, animations in here. This is walk it off. Oh. That's pretty cool. So you can see the faceplate lifting up, showcasing Tony Stark himself, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, then we can try like battle. Friday, we've got it coming. Wait, no, it's just some grit on my display. Hmm. Okay, we're just gonna pretend this never happened. I think it's the best for everyone involved. That is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, so that was uh, that, and then you could do like a sleep.
Uh, so that is essentially that where you can go ahead and use these different animations and play them. Uh, now we have some other vo vocal kind of things. So you just go ahead and hit like this. So you can go ahead and use these different animations or voices that you can go ahead and place in the custom animation or protocol. Kind of give you an idea how that works out. So a lot of this has to do with the game. Uh, now this one here is the one where the faceplate will lift up and display an animation. Uh, so for instance, this is power check. Friday, all this waiting around is killing my mojo. Give me a max power check. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is party. All right, let's get this party started. Now, on top of that, you can actually create your own custom animation. So if I click on me, uh, watch this. So these are two different videos that you can go ahead and play. So let me go ahead and just hit record here. And what it's doing is gonna, it's gonna go ahead and detect my face. And then from there, just like this, I can go ahead and place an animation and be like, hey guys, this is Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> so that there was an animation, I'll hit check. And then from there, I can go ahead and upload it to the robot as it's currently doing as we wait. Uh, this will go ahead and place the robot video into the protocol, allowing us to go ahead and display our face onto the face of, display our face onto the face of Iron Man. So we'll hit this one right here. Hey guys, this is Iron Man. <laughs> That's awesome. So you can go ahead and try this one here. I did earlier. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly, you have the light show effect. So you can go ahead and control all the lights on Iron Man. Uh, for instance, I can go ahead and brighten the lights on his uh, chest piece over here. We can change the colors too. So if I wanted to do say green, just like that. Uh, I can pick the second color to say blue, just like that. And then from there, you'll notice that it will start blinking those colors. That's pretty cool. Uh, then you all can also turn on the uh, arm piece, hand pieces, just like that right there. So you can see them that they go on and I can just turn them off the same way. Off, on, and then you can go ahead and fade the colors. So let's go ahead and do a green and then we'll just do um, red. There you go, and you can see that it's literally fading between the two colors. Pretty cool. So that's pretty neat. And then you can go ahead and do the same thing with the feet. So there you are. Uh, again, you can go ahead and fade them. So we'll just do um, blue like that. And then we'll just do uh, red or pink. Let's try that just to show you guys the colors. You can see that it'll actually display the colors just like that, which is pretty neat. So you can see right there. Like that. That's pretty cool. So you can do that. Uh, you can turn off and on the uh, face lights. So just like this, off. Okay, and then on. Uh, you can turn on the chest piece ring and as well as the uh, legs as well. So you can see the ring right there. Off. So pretty cool stuff. You can go ahead and customize all that and use it to your liking. And then, you know, pretty interesting stuff in a sense. So, so it kind of gives you an idea what that's all about. You can go ahead and customize it, use it to its full extent and just make just about anything with that. Now, lastly, we have the custom protocol. So with the custom protocol, you can go ahead and create your own custom protocol. Uh, for instance, we'll go ahead and create one right now called Gamma Protocol. Uh, it says your work will automatically be saved to the robot to activate the protocol. When your robot is not connected to the app, all you gotta say is Gamma and it'll go ahead and function with that. So if I hit okay, and then uh, I can go ahead and start with a preset or I can go ahead and do a blank script. So a blank script, uh, essentially this is our start button here. So we can go ahead and do a movement. So we'll go ahead and have him walk forward uh, one and then we'll go ahead and move his left arm uh, and then we'll go ahead and do a video of Tony Stark and then that video will be um, armor loaded. Armor is locked and loaded. So just, uh, you can see that it's displaying it right there. So we'll do that and then you can go ahead and use different things. You can loop, you can go ahead and wait for a sound, stuff of that nature. Let's, let's do one of those. So we'll do uh, wait for a sound right here and then we'll start. So let's try this out. So I'll be like, Gamma. Activating protocol. Then raise his hand. Armor is locked and loaded. That is awesome. <laughs> 
So that is now considered gamma. So if I go ahead and save it and then disconnect it from the app, if I just say gamma, it'll go ahead and start that action. Now, if it was in the middle of an action, I can stop it by simply putting my hand on top of his head just to go ahead and stop him from doing that. So pretty neat stuff. And kind of gives you an idea of what that's all about. Uh, so with that being said, the next thing we're gonna try is Nanotech. So Nanotech will be essentially the augmented reality version of the game. So we're just gonna need our platform next and try this out. All right, so we're all set to try out our Nanotech. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click on the app next. Uh, then this is gonna go ahead and open up the camera so we can see everything here. So we wanna make sure we can go ahead and see the, the, the mat right over there. So go ahead and detect it. It'll go ahead and make a platform around our robot telling us exactly what our boundaries are going to be in terms of the playing field. So we're going to go ahead and hit ready. And then you can see how it creates a blueprint around the robot, which is pretty neat. Uh, and then we'll hit ready again. So now it wants us to go ahead and verify it. So we want to make sure we can see the front of the Iron Man at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and move around the robot just like this. Armor is locked and loaded. <laughs> All right. Friday, construct the Armor Lab nano-sim environment. It's like it's going to create an environment around it. Whoa. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so it shows all the different things. Look at this. This is our lab. That is pretty cool stuff. So we can go ahead and uh, try out the repulsor. So I'll hit start. We're going to go ahead and move around here and get behind our robot. You tasked me with developing a nanosim environment to stress test and maximize the effectiveness of the Iron Man armor. To do this, I've used combat data collected from... Alright, let's try this. So it's going to go ahead and create an environment around our robot. Look at that, we can actually see our room. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright, we got to shoot these enemies down. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got a bag right there. So we just got to go ahead and shoot at it like this. You can see the robot is actually moving at the same time too, both in real life and on the screen. Is this all there is? Oh. Nice. No, all right, what do we got here? Okay. Oh, look at that. Nice. It's got different weapons. That's pretty cool. Uh, the map on the bottom shows exactly where to shoot. All right, we're on to wave number three. Come on, we can do this. Nice. Where are you hiding, boy? Die! Nice. Wave three complete. This is so cool. <laughs> All right, what do you got here? Oh, crap. Take that. Lock on the target to shoot, so we just got to click on it and lock on it. Got him. Wave four, complete. On to wave five. All right. Nice. Wave five, complete. That was easy. All right, on to the final wave. Come on, we can take these things down. Die! Yes! Oh, wait, one more. Alright, sweet, we beat it. That was wave number six, so we completed level number one. Like, they even have like cars in there, too. <laughs> During combat, your attack characteristics were recorded and stored in nanite data markers. Okay. Oh, data marker. Let's collect that. that data and send them to the lab interface, boss. That was a solid start, sir. Sweet. Give me a break. I could have done that with a training wheels protocol activated. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. So we got new nanotech unlocked. So you're gonna unlock different weapons. So that's pretty neat. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty sick. You got a shield. <laughs> All right, let's start the test on this. Enough, enough talk. Let's more play. Let's do this. Whoa, we're in the middle of a street. <laughs> this is so cool. 
All right, let's do this. Oh. Got it. Take that. Nice. Next time, bring more friends. All right, we're gonna try out this new shield when they try attacking us. Shield. Oh, well, he's about to shoot my new shield. Nice! Oh no! Come on! No! Come on! Shield! That shield worked. Man, that's kind of hard. Is this all there is? Oh yeah. No, there's some more. <laughs> this is so fun. This one's fine. Fire target. Oh no! Look at him. He's like dying. No! Looks like plan A didn't work Friday. Luckily, the alphabet has 25 more letters. <laughs> yeah, I went there. Aww. All right, well, there you have it. This here is the Iron Man by UB Tech Robot. Now, definitely a very fun robot and has a lot of playback value in terms of what you can do with it, in terms of customizing it, programming it, even playing an augmented reality game, which is actually very, very unique and very fun. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit that thumbs down button twice. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.